All right. Um, today I'm gonna show you how to make a uh, homemade um, combiner box for solar. I have an ar array of solar panels um, here, and um, I have three. Uh, I run my circuit in 48 volts. I have three. Um, I have to run three uh, 48 volts in parallel, and um, I can use a wing, very big wing nuts. Uh, this is size 12 wire, by the way. Uh, I can use a big wing nut, but uh, one time it came loose on me and short out the wing nut, and it melt the wing nuts, melt the plastic. Looks scary, so I don't want to do that anymore. I looked around online com for a combiner box, and I don't see anything. Homely Pole, Lowe's don't sell those. And the solar company online sell it for like $150. That's ridiculous. So I thought to myself, oh, I'm gonna make my own. This one cost me about eight bucks. Four dollars, four dollars for the plastic box, and this you see here is a ground bar. It cost me four dollars, eight bucks, and half an hour, about half an hour. So, uh, what you have here is, um, so the ground bar I cut it in half, right, and then on this side here is the positive side in the bottom there is a plastic standoff in the bottom so I mount the screw this screw here I mount to the bottom uh, for the positive side for the negative side because there's nothing to mount to it I have to drill two holes on the sides and this you see here is silicone I, I have to cover it to prevent shorting and prevent uh, erosion and prevent water from coming in. Um, so I drill two holes and mount it. You see it. This screw go through here, go through the bar, and then mount it on here. Right? Secure on here. And the second screw is right here. You can see it right here. So two, two screws to hold it on the side here. And uh, it seems to be fairly tight. This one is it's good too. I mean, only one screw is holding it, but it's pretty good. So there you have it. Cost me eight dollars, uh, half an hour. Pretty easy to do. Um, you know, if I can do it. Anybody can do it. And uh, I mounted to the rack by the uh, aluminum plate. I already got my aluminum plate, so I drilled the holes and put a screw and mounted on the plate. And then from the plate, uh, with a bracket, I mounted to the, uh, the solar rack. All right. There you have it, homemade um, solar combiner box.